What is no longer an exclusion for diagnosing major depressive disorder? Cornell, what is your answer? Bereavement. Bereavement, correct. Uh, potpourri for 400. Potpourri 400. <laughs> this marine mollusk was the subject of much of Eric Kandel's Nobel Prize winning work on memory. Cornell? Aplasia? Yes. Potpourri for 500. Potpourri for 500. <laughs> what is the most promising new genetic approach to complex syndromes like schizophrenia and autism? What's Cornell? the copy number variant? Judges? Copper, copy number variant. Oh, we'll confer for a moment. Sure. <laughs> we'll accept that. He painted these pictures over time. The pictures mark progression in his illness and his perception. What was his illness? UCLA? Schizophrenia? Correct. When he died, of course, felt Jakob disease. Cornell? Balanchine? Correct. Stat 400? This procedure allows for members of a particular group to have an equal chance to be chosen for an observation or experiment. Cornell? Mm -hmm. Randomization? That's correct. Okay. The NIH promise measures use what theory to determine which questions a patient is asked? UCLA, Cornell. Audience? <laughs> Charlie? It's item response theory or computer adaptive testing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now. Small studies to exert a rapid antidepressant effect in treatment refractory patients. Glenn, maybe you should repeat the question. Maybe you should just say it again. Pardon me? Maybe you should just say it one more time. One more time? Okay. Name the medication and its primary mechanism of action that has been shown in a few small studies to exert a rapid antidepressant effect in treatment refractory patients. Now, has everybody written their answer? So the correct UTA? answer must have both the name of the compound and the mechanism of action. Exactly. Is that clear to all three teams? Okay. can stop thank you now uh, we're going with a team with the lowest score uh, first so Cornell what is your answer can you read it for us uh, in the microphone please we're gonna wager 2300 it also says hi mom <laughs> now, we, we don't do the wager we do the answer first okay so re read your answer please okay. Um, it says, what is ketamine, an MDA antagonist? It also says, hi, Dad. Okay. Now, uh, 
The, the official answer is ketamine and then the A receptor antagonist. I assume that's fine, right? Yeah. Judges, okay. Now, the team with the second highest score is UCLA. Uh, now, can you show your sure. wager? Glenn, let's, let's add that wager to their score so we could see as we move along, since that was the correct answer. <laughs>